Before starting your surgical scrub, you want to wash your hands and arms with a chlorhexidine gluconate solution. This will remove any gross debris before starting the actual surgical scrub. Next you will take your impregnated sponge and open it, removing the nail pick. The nail pick will be used to clean the subignual areas of your fingernails. It is important during this process to visualize any soiled areas under the fingernails and remove them with the pick. using your eyes as a hand hygiene tool. After using the nail pick, you are to, to discard it in the trash. Now you're ready to begin the surgical scrub with the chlorhexidine gluconate impregnated sponge. First, you are to wet the sponge and working it into a lather on your hands and fingers. During the surgical scrub process, you want to visualize your hands, forearms, and fingers as having four sides. Working the non-abrasive sponge between the fingers is important to make sure that you reach the corners and crevices of your fingers and in between your fingers. Next, after working the sponge from your fingers and hands, you will work down to each arm, going just below the elbow. During this entire process, you want to keep your arms outstretched away from you and at or above elbow height. After the surgical scrub, you will rinse your hands off under running water and proceed to the room. After entering the room, you will take a absorbent sterile towel and pat your hands and arms dry.